I'm sorry, have you got the stream up? Uh, yeah, I just started it, mate. So, hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. have I got the stream up? Hey. Hello, everyone. We are the high professionalism here. Uh, it's Stephen again for AAS Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, joined by, <laughs> I'm joined by Jace and Jay uh, once again for uh, another Hello again. Day. Yes, say hello, Jay. Hello. hello. Sorry, and hello, Jay. <laughs> it's Hi. so hard. Your names are so similar. <laughs> yes, this this is Jay's game. Yeah, uh, against Ollie, elves versus elves, um, which unfortunately for Jay uh, happened right when he got his assassin back. Yeah, that was not fun. I uh, haven't had much experience against th them. And I found the stab very impressive it, it and terrifying. Is. It just really is. Like, I have loved it so much recently. Um, so, who did what? Uh, he chose to receive, and yeah, I mean, a lot of people usually do. Uh, are you alright, uh, Jason? Yeah, that oh, looks about right. Cool. Uh, but if I call you by your full name, this might be easier. Um, yeah, because I mean, I think most teams actually do want to receive, and elves are no different. So, Jay, how was you planning on sort of defending against another elf team that doesn't pass? Yeah, well, um, I wasn't entirely sure at the beginning. So you'll see, I went with a slightly different strategy first half and second half, okay. testing what works. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, it's my fault. I should have done more testing, more friendly games beforehand. But um, yeah, because this is your first time yeah. playing against another elf team, isn't it? Yeah. As elves. Well, yeah, it's my first time in the league, um, and I'm not yeah. the like the most experienced player. But yeah. um, well, I can tell you them one thing right already, because you put three linemen on the line, um, which against solid. any other. I mean, it's just as elf as pro elves, you should do all the time. So what you got? It's hard to see. So you got blitzer, catcher, blitzer catcher. Throw a, yeah. I mean, from what I've heard and seen from Robbie, that's pretty much what you do as elves. Yeah, I can see one mistake already, which is having the loner at the back rather than having yeah, the loner be the, the sacrifice on the front line. Yeah. Yeah, you should just put him under the assassin. Yes. I mean, definitely. well, Jay wouldn't have seen the assassin because he sets up first. But yeah, I mean, when oh, yeah, you, true. When, next half definitely do it because you'll know where the assassin is and you can target. Where you want. See, yeah, that's what he does immediately. I mean, it's good experience in a way because you get to see what the other elf team does. Yeah, oh, mm -hmm. he, and he also put. It's hard to tell here, actually. I want your guys' opinion. Would you put maybe put the blitzers on the line, considering you now know you have the. Uh, no, I think your blitzers are too valuable. You want to put them where you want them on the pitch later on. Yeah. Hang on. Having them gummed up on the line is just a waste of that's resource. Fair. And I'll say yeah. our um, scrum at the front isn't very sticky. Players don't really get stuck in an elf v elf game. No, I suppose not. True, true. Then I'm talking from a bashing perspective, so yeah. I don't play elves that often. Uh, he cool one square. That's quite. Uh, it's quite important now. Yeah. Well, it makes yeah, a big he difference here. Catch. Yeah, because he gets the catch. Yeah, and now he can make his get away from the scrum easier. He doesn't even have to dodge for it. On a blitzer as well, by the looks of it. Yeah. Let's see if he actually catches it. He needs a three up, he probably should. Right, and yep, he does. On a yep, six. classic. Nice. Alright, so he's going back in. Yeah, like, because you forget how I better armored these elves are compared to your typical wood elves. Yeah. Yeah, he does have the advantage there. Most of his armors are armor. Uh, eight compared to J seven. I think his entire team is armor eight. Uh, no, his runners are seven. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, it is uh, uh, two players with block on either side and strength three across the board. Yeah. So, uh, the quality of our bash is like pr pretty similar. Uh, the assassin makes a difference. Yeah, and the armor. Yeah. I've noticed this weird caging strategy is just employed here, Ollie. That was like a. I'd say it's very interesting, actually, how he positioned his players. I mean, it's a kind of uh, an elf screen, especially on this side. Yeah, it's quite it's a strong screen. 
Like, this is what elves try to do, is because then what you do is you hopefully just bash the first person, and down or back the second person then takes their spot, as it were. Yeah, because you uh, don't want to cage. Solid to me. Yeah, because you don't want to cage because you never have a strength advantage. In yeah, because and it restricts and it restricts your movement as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So Jay, your first turn. <laughs> yes. So uh, the classic play of putting a catcher in the back line just in case, because yeah. you never know when it's going to come in handy. It is. Yeah. And it's just even if it never comes in handy, the other team has to think about it. Like as it, previous games have shown, if the ball goes the wrong way. Yeah. This is the thing. You're you're pretty much doing what um. I was going to say what Jason did, but you're kind of just <laughs> delaying his advance. Just all you need to do, because he doesn't have a proper passing play. Because he only yeah, has I dump just, off. I just try and, like, counter screen. Like, uh, not too many people getting punched, just yeah. out of range, try and restrict movement. That's yeah. the plan. So That's, another yeah, down. solid. Cool, don't follow up. Yep, yeah, perfect. Yeah. It's not nothing exciting, but it's pretty much exactly what you wanted to do. So stab. Oh. Oh, that's the first oh, one. Oh, injury. Ooh. Okay, so just badly hurt. I say just. It's an elf team. They're expensive, but. <laughs> that was a double six for the injury roll as well. Yeah. But no SPP. Is that something? That is something. Yeah. Okay, so he's just. So this is what I was saying to uh, uh, Michelle the other day in, um, on Facebook. He was asking how Dark Hells play. I was like, surprisingly bashy for an elf team. They are the most bashy of the elven teams, especially when you start bringing in the witch elves. Yeah. Which hasn't been brought into this team yet, but I imagine Ollie will at some point in the season. You might. I think he'll go for his second assassin first. Oh yeah, I forget you can have two of those. Yeah. Although saying that... Um, I'm not quite sure if the second assassin would be good this later on in the season. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's played both the Armour 7 teams. Yeah, he's played the low armour teams already. Yeah, so, uh, we're just going to do it from your side, Jake, because then it'll be easier. So, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> yeah, um, it felt like with him just punching through the line, uh, I was feeling like maybe I'd sent too many people around the sides. So I try and pull a few back. Sort of tighten the noose. Yeah. Yeah, nice two dice block. Get a blitzer out of the way. Uh, should you? No, no, don't follow. Don't need to. Oh, he dumps off and fails it. Which I then catches it with someone else. Oh. oh. See. Ouch. The thing is, though, that he. I don't know. This is a problem with dump off because that could have gone so wrong, even if you had sculled. Got another stab. Just to, oh, I mean, KO. I think if you, someone's about to two dice you, you always dump off, in my opinion. Yeah. One dice is questionable. Yeah, but I mean that was a blitzer, right? Yeah. So I mean, actually, to be fair, I should have commented more on that in, uh, when it happened. That was actually really not a bad idea. A one die block with um. Oh yeah, yeah, with blocked the didn't he? So yeah, no, yeah. same, same sort of risk, really, isn't it? Yeah. Also, I think I think Ollie actually does have three blitzers. Yeah, he does. Oh no, he, oh, had, he... he might buy the fourth blitzer then before the yeah. witch elf. Yeah. I think he. I think one might be out for this game, but I'm pretty sure he does have three. Oh. Oh. Pass again, or a handoff? I'm not sure. Just a handoff back. Solid to handoff as usual. Handoff back to the runner. Okay. Yeah, cause it's, I think that's a good idea because it just gives you another chance if they try to sack you. You got another yeah. chance at dump off. Yes. Right. Dodge pal. Which elves don't come with, but at least you'll get some soon. He's stunned. When it's Jay's turn, I'll pause it for waiting for him to come back. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, you're back. Cool. I, I heard disconnecting and reconnecting, so I wanted to double check. <laughs> oh, you, oh, we're inside your turn. Cool. So, you've kind of forced him out into the middle, by the looks of it. And he's reformed. 
what is what is the plan? <laughs> Apart from getting two dice, which are always good. Um, yep, he does have a nice cage. Um, but, uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what that I was, was unfortunate. I think I think in your defense, you probably just forgot he had loader. <laughs> We've all yeah. done it. it. It happens. Um, I uh, do want to say, yeah, following up with that block was the right thing to do. Because now he has yeah, to do just... something about it. Yeah, if you have the option to get attackers in on the guy with the ball, I mean, I think I'm always going to take it. Yeah, even as elves, like, take it. Because you just have to force them to do something. Because, um, in theory, especially as elves, actually, because your dice rolls are more consistent. Because you do most things on two ups, ball handling wise, that is. Uh, cool, so. Fortunately, all he needs is a push, but still, he could have sculled. Let's see, is he, is he gonna go up the middle? Yes, he is. He's making a break for it. And he's got a lot of people there ready. Yeah. Because um, he got quite a few stuns on the previous turn, so yeah. I had a lot of guys on the floor. So I. Um, lost all of my marking on that right side. Yeah, I've just noticed that, yeah. Alright, he's gonna go for another stab again, isn't he? Oh, and a catcher as well. And that's a stun, okay. I think, well, I mean, we'll get there eventually, but I think once uh, he gets to your half, if you don't, I just start taking the assassin down. Because he's only armor 6. Yes, I did not prioritize the assassin. Oh yeah, because that mistake. assassin suffered an injury, didn't he? Yeah. Thanks to my good self in uh, game 1. Ooh, oh, where was that? That's from there. Trying to was get in front of the ball. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean... I think at this point, I don't really know, apart from being really cheeky maybe with this blitzer and just dodging in here and sacking it, I think all you can really do is damage control and just start hurting the rest of his team, which I think you're doing pretty much. Yeah. Well, I, I try to keep slowing them down. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, like, it's not looking good at this point. He's got a lot of men in my half, close to the line. Mm. But uh, I wasn't quite ready to give up. Just yet. Yeah, no. That uh, seems like solid. Yeah, he's going for the stab straight away because it's risk-free. He fails. And he goes for a block instead. And not fails, but doesn't get anything, really. So, yeah, out the side. Interesting he made the run for it. Yeah, I guess oh, he can he bring moving. these two guys around as well, so he can kind of make yeah. a cage. Or big, a good enough cage, as it were. Because Jake can Shows go around the strength the... of high movement, doesn't it, this game? Yeah. So what turn are we on? We're on turn 5. Oh, sidestep. Elf is out. I'm actually surprised, sorry, that he didn't bring that elf into here, or this one, just on one of them. I get getting yeah. out of these guys' like tackle zones, but I would have marked one of these two. Okay, so you're down. Double yeah, stun. On that point, how many players does. I mean, he has none out, and you've got two. It feels like a much bigger player disadvantage for some reason. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. So is he just getting good blocks here, Jay? Yeah, at this point I realise it, it's lost. Like, he's gonna score, so I'll just get a few bashes that I can. Yeah, it's fair. Although, go odds after? don't it doesn't work out that great. A lot of pushes. Yeah. 
Oh, and double uh. skull. That's your second double skull so far. I'm interested to see what if there's a delay here or not. That's what I'm interested to see. I don't. I don't know. I think Ollie's quite a courteous player. He is, and I don't. I mean, he's got to be wary because you do have three turns, and that's that's all elves need. Elves only need two turns to score. But yeah. He hasn't done it yet, so he's actually because he's quite confident he gets some bashes in before he scores. Yeah. Right now it's going. Is he going to delay? Or is he going so to it score? wasn't so much a delay as to try and get some bashes in. Yeah, which is fair. It's in a strong position. That's not too. I'm gonna to say dishonest, but that feels like the wrong word. Unsportsman. Yeah, that's the word. Thank you. Right. So one injured. No, oh, chaos stays out. All right, so what would you do as Ollie? Uh, what would we do as Ollie? Just play a defensive game here, really. I mean, yeah, but he he absolutely hates having people in the wings. Like I've never seen someone so against it. But he plays really deep. Which yeah. Is, like if you're not wide, you have to be deep. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, no, the blitzers have got to go on the wings. They just have to. Yeah, and he's got... Okay. Yeah, I... Is he going to keep these two back? No. Okay. Like I said, wide or deep. Wide or deep. I would have maybe kept the uh, assassin back. Partly because I don't want to get hurt. But also, if you get a catcher back here and you can't quite make it in like one turn or something, you could just go for a stab. But... I guess the other way to do it is just to not let you through. Oh, there you go, Lona on the line. Yep, Lona. Yeah, so team. we do notice that you've got quite less, two less players. Yeah, still. Which yeah. really hurt. I was feeling that. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was Ash, by the way. <laughs> Bless. Alright, uh, so. I never got to see all that because of the distraction. So he gets a reroll. We will quickly pause it once we're there. So you have gone for a slight bashing game by the looks of it, uh, Jay. Yeah. Um, looking back on it, not like um, not a big fan of the choices I made here. Okay. Um, well, you win your line this way, so it's not the worst decision you made. I mean. I, I I don't know, I'm torn, because you've seen how we set up, and you've counter set up for this line to get some strength advantage, and that I like, and like, especially because you also got block here and block here, but I don't know, like you got your throw, I'm assuming, yeah, to yeah. get the ball. I don't think it's a bad play to try and get some injuries in before the next half. Yeah, it, it depends, because you know you have three turns and you're an elf team, do you just start just being that elf bullshit and just going through but just see I mean now see you like said now you can just force your way through this sort of not quite a hole yeah it doesn't have to waste his blitzes on the line yeah uh, uh, that, okay that was just un unfortunate really how many rerolls does your team have Joe Two. Uh, three, three, and they were all used early. Um, uh, yeah, see, correct doing... choice though. To be honest, three is the correct choice. But I was doing a lot of punching for somebody with no rerolls. Like maybe I should have gone for the ball earlier. That's yeah, one I, thing. I think the two with blocks were fine because you have block. Uh, yeah, I'm able to let yeah. this one and not done it with the catcher. Uh, yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, got maybe the ball, should have done it with the lineman. One, done, done. Yeah, actually, you know what I would have done. Not done this one. Gone uh, after these two. There was a guy back here. I'd have set up a blitz and and push him or knock him or hopefully. Um, and then, yeah. But luckily, as elves, because uh, basically what I was trying to say was get this side stronger for you, and basically ignore this side, uh, because as an elf team you can play in your own sort of back half and just do the nice big pass when you need to. So actually, you not picking up the ball isn't the end of the world. 
in theory, I might eat my words in a second in the next two turns of Dark Elf play, but... They do call that the commentator's curse. <laughs> yeah, look, look, I think I'm about to be wrong already. The other nice thing is that his movement 8 blitz was on this side. On his ass. Alright. He was being cheeky with the go for it by the looks of it. Yeah. Well, this is his first reroll of the game though. Holy shit. Yeah. That is... I haven't even noticed actually, yeah. That's pretty... I think it's a mix of solid and... Oh, solid no. play, good luck. Yeah. That's not great. First yeah, roll, I first see. Oh, roll God. Yep. Yeah. Well, no, oh, first no. roll of the turn, and he's down. Out of yeah. reroll. I guess that's where the punishment happens. Yeah. Damn. There we go, there's my commentator's curse. Sorry, Jay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so... Yeah, I, I would not have taken any bashes. I'd have gone straight for it too. Uh, hey, well, yeah, this is his last turn, so... Yeah. Do you have another? Oh, yeah, you have to go through your turn, eight. Now, if I'm Ollie... Uh, everyone on the back. No? Okay. He's just want looking to solidify his position here by the looks of it, but I just... Yeah. Yeah, I'd have gone everyone at the back or everyone at the front. I would not have done like a normal setup. Because I think, unless it's a riot, I think you're going to get a little bit punished. Yeah, good glory pass. True. Nice. <laughs> oh, don't know what that was. Uh, okay. Nice. Nice again. And... Ah, oh, shame. Cool. And then you're gonna go... yeah. Just surfing him along the line. Yeah, pretty much, like... I mean, it's Classic good, moves. like... You now still have a blitz if you want to get another person down for more SPP. Which I'm... you about to see that? Yeah. Oh, you went for the assassin! Oh, I like that. Correct choice. Yeah, definitely. You get him down. You'll break his armor 6 easily. Yeah, I did have to take well, a 1 day that. to do it, but... I mean... It's not that risky. Yeah, so all you so, don't want is to go down yourself, really. So it's yeah, a three so up. We're at half time, and yeah, I was getting kind of salty. I think, um, I, I think both of the goals here, I I can't put it down to luck. There was there was mistakes. Yeah, I and, think um, that's what gets me salty is when. Is like when I know I. The second up. one was questionable, though. To be fair. The second one. Yeah. Sort of a bit of both, bad moves and bad luck at the same time. And I think also, if you had picked up the ball, it was a blitz that was in your back line, who would likely to have knocked you down. Because. Yeah, all he had to do go for it to even attempt that. Yeah. Yeah, it catches right on the wing. So yeah. Uh, so what's your sort of plan here? Yeah, um, so he didn't go wide enough to keep tackle zones all along the line, and he didn't go that deep either. So I can get two catches. Uh, yeah, that's side. interesting what he did there. Yeah. On turn one, and then I'm trying to learn from my mistakes in previous games, hope and try and take it a bit slower, wait for the right turn to pass. That's what I was telling myself. Yeah. yeah. Is just I'm wait thinking here. Patient. Ollie got a bit too excited about the 2 0 start off and yeah. didn't really spot that. I think yeah. the uh, that good old um, overconfidence kind of struck in a bit there. Yeah. I think I think he actually what he should have done was go for his normal setup like he had against me. He should have just kept it, yeah. He should have just kept gone. the same as the first half, I believe. Yeah, or done the one where he stays really packed in the middle. Because it's an elf team, it's a pro elf team at that that's going to go around the sides if you stay close in the middle hopefully you can then f go to where you need to but instead he's yeah he's made a mistake and he's let you just go around around the sides oh he gets another reroll 
Hey, nice. I also nice. I, I remember watching that and realizing that he does the animation with his left hand and then it goes to his right. Yeah, classic. Now you steal with both of them. Yeah. That was yeah, solid moves to that right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah. <laughs> and you don't even need to blitz. Cool. See, this could be a mistake, putting the bull carrier so far forwards. Yeah, I mean, I know it's the elf thing to keep them back here, uh, but given that you're 2-0 down, I'm not sure. I bet probably spitting teeth right now, and I probably yeah. should. They're making the right you. choice. I think being this aggressive early is the right choice. Yeah. It is a slight... I think, yeah, I, I don't know if I would have gone for that bash. Yeah, because I've uh, left the gap. Yeah, because you left the gap. I think I'd have stayed here and brought him maybe back here. It was a shame you couldn't get into your side cage you had set up. Because um, that would have been real nice. Because he basically right would not have been able to get into there. I realise my mistake and try and plug the hole a little bit. Yeah. But it's That's a bit good. late. I mean, it's still... He can go... Yeah, he can go around, but he has to waste movement doing it. So you've done something at least. Uh, your catch is at yeah, that's strength three. Yeah, he's made the right choice on blocking those catches. Yeah. It's two dodges regardless. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there was a better spot for you to go here. It looks like he was saving the blitz for the ball carry by looks of it. Yeah. No, 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 I meant Jay's sidestep, if he should have come back, but I don't think it really matters. Fucking two up dodges. Uh. Oh! Well, at least it was a good bounce for you. Oh, fucking hell. Jeez. Yeah, this is, this is rough. But, having said that, the, apart from your catches, the wings are pretty solid for you. Like, you got a lot of players around him still. But this was full despair. Yeah. For me. Like, um, definitely feeling tilted here. <laughs> hey, there we go. Alright, let's bring some of it back. Oh, no. We need to see how many ones you've rolled in, in the end of this. I thought that'll make you feel better, but we do need to see it. Yeah, that's good. Try and limit his two dice blocks on here. Oh, I see what you've done. That's clever. Take out those tackle zones to get him off the ball. God, have you got anyone? No, you got none to pick it up. Nice, get away from one of them. See, I, I was wondering if you'd take your, a one dice against this assassin. Just because, stab. It's worth. Mm. Um, yeah, I like that choice. I don't think it uh, occurred to me at the time. But... Yeah. I think he fails to pick up everything. Yeah, he does. He's going to fail it again. Oh, he does! Yeah. Alright. Now we get now. Now this is dangerous for Oli. All these players over here, near in passing distance to each other. Yes, nice easy game. Yeah. I uh, just oh. scatter up the ball. Okay. That's yeah. a I want a KO to go for with it. Yeah. Okay. Oh shame. Was you hoping it'd go off? I think so, but yeah. um, but it works out better this way. Yeah. So, again, that was, like, Ollie making a very reasonable decision, and it not working out, and then me making a mistake, uh. and not getting punished for it. <laughs> I mean, it is blah blah, and then, handoff? Hard oh, to nerves. I will say, oh, Jay, my days. you make the best oh, use my of days. it. Yeah, that was, that was brutal. Alright, yeah, well played on that one, Jay. Yeah. Thank you. 
That was very well done. I think I remember this actually because I think Robbie and me were watching this game and Robbie was just like, yeah, even I didn't see that. And that was from a player who plays elves quite often. I think, I don't think Robbie's used to having catches with nerves. That's the thing. That'll probably be it, yeah. You, what, you'd never go, I'm going to hand off the ball to someone in the tackle zone. But as soon as, like, nerves makes it so much easier to do. And I noticed that, I think it was in your first game that you used nerves to, like, great use. Yeah. Um, it's, uh... Because it's the traditional play, like, oh, there's an elf in the back line, right? So you, you put somebody there to, to mark them. But the the pro elf catchers just don't care. No. No, they really don't. Yeah. Oh, so and more... I remember seeing this as well, I'm going, oh, no. Mm -hmm. This early lead might not, well, sorry, this slight comeback might not actually go anywhere. All right, stab failure. We'll also notice that his stabs are starting to fail now as well. Yeah, I think difference. only like two or three actually went through this game so far. Yeah. Yeah, we've had three successful stabs. And which got one injury, so reasonable luck. Yeah, I mean he's done he's done his job really. But I think that's what's kinda helping you. And he's doing he's doing what you kinda did, trying to get elves in the back line. I think what he needs is um well partly he needs sure hands but also <laughs> i think what he needs is a uh, pass i think pass will help and him for a it lot. not to be raining of course yes but i think i just meaning in general seeing how he's played through this game i think pass would be great for his uh, runner especially because it'll make the yeah, jump pass is good. easier nerves is also very good on a on a runner yeah see a big difference between this half and the first half we're both burning rerolls this time, yeah. instead of with me. Yeah, it makes a bit a lot of difference. Right, so he's going around the side. I mean, how have you found cage breaking as elves? Ow. Um, like just impossible <laughs> most of the time. Yeah. Uh, you've got to keep an eye out for the opportunity, but um, but also have the patience to accept that against mm -hmm. a good player, that opportunity will be rare. Yeah. Exactly, like, the whole point of elf cage breaking is waiting for your opponent to run out of patience. What the hell just happened there? Oh, yep, just some indecision on my part. Moving him yeah. back and forth. No, 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 that's fine, but uh, I don't know if that came across for you guys, but he kind of just slid. Which is just really weird, but... Yeah, I remember seeing that, actually. Uh, so he's going for... Ooh. Blitzer on Blitzer. Yep, trying to clear a wing, but the sidestep. Uh... Is this the time where he just... No. Isn't there a point in this game where he blocks your Blitzer like a, a couple of times, forgetting about sidestep? Or was that against you, Jace? Not sure. I remember that in one Might of the me. games. Yeah. Might have been me. Yeah, when it was close to the touchdown and just um... sliding across the, the line. It's weird, actually. I don't, I don't. I guess you didn't really have a chance to cage, but him caging up, which is not an elfy tactic, it's exactly what he needs to do, and probably Jay, what you're going to need to do against other elf teams, because because elves are, you know, like you said before, quite bad at breaking cages. So I think the column elf defense just isn't needed. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe it would be worth, if it had happened that Jay got the ball and could cage up to do a column defense because he has, you know, two blitzers and an assassin. But I've just realized how hard it is for Jay to get in there. Oh, look, another stab failure. I don't know, maybe so just a time, in the future. This time, um, instead of just surrounding the cage, I've gotten a bit more in their face. Yeah. Um, that was my change in strategy in the second half, is I was, like, willing to...
try and f force the issue. Yeah, I mean, now he's down to a reroll. Uh, yeah, I think it's the right choice, because... Like then. Pouring rain doesn't affect dodges, does it? No. No, that, I think that's Blizzard. Yeah. Uh, no, Blizzard affects... I don't think any of them do. I don't think any of the weather nah, results mate, no, affect No, I think dodges. you're right, yeah. Blizzard effects go for it. And you can't pass from a certain distance as well. Yeah. It's a problem with Elf teams, there's three weather results that mess with passing. It's... Then you got to remember, all the other teams that aren't Elves suffer even more. Do they? They suffer on pickups. No, only Elf teams really suffer from uh, uh, the sun one, blinding sun. I think he means that the uh, the difference between a, a two up going to a three up is less relevant than a three up a, going to a four up. Also, yeah, or sorry. a four to a five. <laughs> or in Kemri's case, a four up to a five up. Yeah, yeah, but you just shouldn't be passing with those teams. I'm talking about passing, not picking up the ball, specifically Please. the passing game. <laughs> uh, also, so, yeah, I was going to say, nice chain push. That was perfect. Yeah, so that was um, his cage got a, got very dense, lots yeah. of like pushes um, to the point where that we could, yeah, like you say, chain push it yeah. out and expose the ball carrier. Was that a one nice. dice block that you did on him? Yeah, it, it was. So yeah, actually, I know it didn't work out for him, but uh, oops, sorry, I was wrong button. Um, I do think Ollie made the right decision on not dumping off there. Because it was a yeah. one die, so it could have gone bad. Oh, oh! Ooh, okay. And badly hurt. What was. Oh, shame that was on the loner. Right. And I guess yeah, you... you now just. Are you going for a pass? Leg it. <laughs> oh, okay. I. I. May have gone Probably for the hand, hand off, off instead, but I pre Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. And, uh, yeah, two. Yep, and then yep, mark him. Yep, <laughs> and that is yeah. God, and that's what we to refer as as elf bullshit. That is elf bullshit. <laughs> yep, just um, that's what pulled me back from the. Uh... In the salt is yeah. just like when you're an elf. There's there's always a chance before. No, like, I imagine you just can't give up. After this, the tilt from Ollie's side was extraordinary. Yeah. Because if I was in Ollie's oh, position and going to the second half, another injury. Yeah, if I was in Ollie's position going to the second half, I'd have thought, oh, I've got this game, easy win. Yeah, sorry, but I no, see, unfortunately. That was a five and a five. I, I say... feel for Ollie on this end. Absolutely. The second half, the luck was really against him. Yeah. But to be fair, it was very much for him in the first. Like, it kind of... Yeah. I'm not gonna... I was about to spoil it then. I know we're all, like, on the third to last turn. But still. And then you just... Oh, no. No, sorry. This is, uh, Ollie's turn. Oh. No reroll? No reroll. There we roll and a KO as well. Yeah. Yeah, that was a hard turn. He lost, what, f four players from the pitch, three players from the pitch that, that yeah. turn? Yeah. Just, yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. Just, don't risk I'm anything. Messing about. I'm not going to mess around here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, what both of you need here is a riot. Because you're both elves, you both capitalize on a riot. I think it helps Ollie more than you because that was your turn 16. But really, either one of you could do with a riot. Uh, to get that extra turn. Oh. So now I think Jay has more players, which he yeah. does for the first time this game. Three player, three person advantage. Um, which, in the first half, that was a two player advantage for Ollie. Yeah. Yep, things really turned around, and that was reflected in the scoreline. Yeah, um, so yeah. So I was thinking, there's either two options. You commit so heavily to the line, he can't get a good block. Or this. Um, and I think this is probably the right decision. And so he's all the way back there. 
He's pretty, he's pretty much doing what you're doing. He's just gonna try and get some two dice in. All right. Let's see what I appreciate him not going for the stab. I mean, he couldn't. You injured his uh, guy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, he's going for the so, pass first. Right. Yeah, it's, free. it's easier SP than blocking. In... Oh, he doesn't pick it up. Cool. Nope. Okay, well that ends that. The elf it's game two up as well. ended on a failed pass. That feels wrong. That feels very, very wrong. Okay, so... Hey, Catcher got MVP, that's nice. And just alignment for him. So, oh sorry, uh, 7 armor breaks 10, that makes sense. He's the much bashier team. Uh, I think pretty much all of these stats make sense. <laughs> um, sorry, and dice rolls. So, he had 21s to 28 sixes, Jesus. Um, and Jay, you had 19 ones. Oh, the 13 oh God, sixes. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's a uh, that's a little bit of dicing there. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't care too much whether it's a two, three, four, five, or six. The only number I care about is one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as an elf um, team, that's really all you need to care about. Yeah, and our ones were pretty even, nineteen to twenty. Yeah. So how are the teams looking after that? Yeah, it's Avaganda. So, uh, oh. When someone's there. I don't know. So he's got 70k in the bank. Yeah, so he could do with whatever we'll, without him. He can get. Well, okay, he can do whatever. He can get another lineman. Which I'm assuming he's not going to do. He has an He's probably going to save up for that fourth blitzer, I reckon. Fourth blitzer? I, we might save up for a reroll. That's an option as well, yeah. Yeah, they're the same cost, so it's really his choice. Again, another assassin, them. I think for now, is not a good idea for the rest of the season. No, I try. I don't know what the other injury was. Just one. I just want. Okay, it was a five, so I thought it was actually going to be something important, but it must have just been badly hurt. But uh, yeah, um, his level ups. He's got runner, who he gave nerves. Oh dear. It's the right choice in my idea. Yep. And that yeah, guy like already it. had the level up from like, the first game, I think. Yeah, the extra movement. Yeah, from the last game. There's no no argument there, really. Yeah, I'd, pick, I'd take movement over armor any day. Uh, well, at armor 8, I would. I wouldn't at armor 7. Um, but yeah. Mm. No, his, cha his team has, still hasn't really changed much. A lot of people... I think a lot still of, has a spare player, though. Yeah. A lot of teams seem to be in the same position of not many level-ups. Or they're at TV 1000-ish. So there's no in-between. Talking yeah. of teams that have not a TV 1000. So what have you got? So, yep, this is my first two level ups of the tournament. And, and um, he gave them both dodge. Yes. <laughs> have you played this yeah. game before? Because <laughs> that was the wise decision. Yeah. Um, I did um, get some feedback. Like I was, m my gut was saying, uh, sidestep or sprint. Like I wanted to do something a bit cheekier. But I was convinced to play it safe, do the sensible choice. Again, block's not a bad choice, but dodge first. Yeah, there's no arguments there. Yeah, and like the the catches can just get it to leave as well. Like that that moment earlier where you gave the ball to someone in a tackle zone because you have nerves, and now dodge just worked with that even better, and on both of them as well. Yep. Yeah. Excuse me. I assume that was touchdowns that sort of gave them the level ups. Yeah, a touchdown and an MVP. Yeah. Cool. So lots of, other, need. lots of other five SPP players. Yes. So yeah, I'm I'm feeling good about uh, about the future for the team. It was a slow start for us. Um, it was, and it's been a loss, a draw, and a draw. But um, yeah, we're we finally haven't... starting to level up. Yeah, we haven't looked at the leaderboard yet. Um, on any of the videos. So yeah, unfortunately, you are in last with a lot. Two draws and a loss, but yeah, your team value is getting better, which is, I don't know, I've found that, like elf agi teams, this is so Skaven and Kislev are thrown in here as well, usually do well at the start and not so great at the end, 
But I think because of the teams you've been put against at the start, you might have a lot better results later on. Because your oh, team definitely. value is going up. Yeah. I think you're getting all the worst bits out the way. Hopefully. Um, and he is sitting pretty in the middle. Um, but yeah, sorry. So you are against uh, Orcs. Oh, sorry. Too far. Uh, as we discussed in the last video, uh, just to rehash, I I think me and Jace think you're going to do pretty well in that. Especially now we know you have dodge on your catches. Like, he hasn't got any tackle. Mm -hmm. and he's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean... Feeling good about it. Yeah, just don't get don't feel too good about it. That's the mistake I made. Yeah, and a mistake <laughs> and a mistake Ollie probably made towards the end. Um, and I'm talking of Ollie, he is against Ash. I think he's gonna have a great old time against Ash. Yeah, because the as we know from previous video, uh, we uh, uh, hasn't been recorded yet, but I think we've all hasn't seen been recorded yet. But all right, I'll silence my mouth on that one. But yes, Ash. But also, despite that, uh, the mix of Armour 7 players and uh, Ash's willingness to be very aggressive. Uh, so, if, again, like I said, I think the last time I spoke about Ash's next game, if he reels it in a bit and plays a bit more conservatively until he knows the touchdown is his, he'll do great. But otherwise, yeah, I think... Yeah, those runners are the ones to watch out for. Yeah, I think Ollie will punish him if he... Uh, if he uh, Okay. Yeah, just throwing a, an assassin at the gutter runners is probably the the strategy he'll employ. Yeah, yeah, especially because then he doesn't need to rely on the block dice and the gutter runners dodging away. Because gutter runners are only armor seven, aren't they? Yeah. 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 And they're also because they're strength two, Ash probably won't block the uh, assassin with one to get out. No. So his assassin will be safe as well. Yeah. That's what I would do if I was in Ollie's position. I'd just be using the assassin to try and take down as many uh, guard runners as I could. Yeah. So yeah, so I think I pretty much rounds it up as this is probably the longest video we've recorded except for the intro. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Yeah, thank you. And uh, uh, thanks for having us. I appreciate all the. When we did stop, it was um, to get feedback, get in, like analysis, like good play advice, and I appreciate it. That's, very interesting. that's good. I just hope you forget it all by our game. No uh, <laughs> chance. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's, um, yeah, I'm always happy to help you, man. Uh, yeah, especially with elves. I don't know a lot about elves. I'm trying to get Robbie to teach me because I want to be good at elves. Oh, it's it's an exhilarating feeling getting that <laughs> getting the ball across the whole pitch in one turn. Yeah. A lift right, for bet. those turns. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yes. Uh, thank you both, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Yes. Yeah. See you. Bye. Goodbye.